and the breathing trees. In the land of Queedles, in the glow of the magical Q-ring, it was a peaceful day in the rainforest. The air was warm. Sun trickled down through the leaves. In her hammock, Emberly read her favorite book. Tweet perched on a tree limb, trading whistles and songs with the rainforest birds. Nearby, Snugger napped and snored, while a big blue butterfly fluttered just above his open mouth. And the human twins, Taylor and Tiffany, sat on a giant tree root, playing cat's cradle with a long piece of string. Taylor yawned. It's quiet around here today. Tiffany frowned and looked around. Where are Wisp and Floon? Before Taylor could answer, a loud shout split the silence. Wahoo! Tiffany jumped. What was that? It sounded like Floon, said Taylor. But what's he so excited about? And what's that rumbling sound? Is it thunder? How could it be thunder, silly? There isn't a single cloud in the... Just then, with a whoop and a holler, Floon and Wisp burst into the clearing, riding on a pair of baby tapers. Faster, little taper, faster, Wisp urged. Floon is beating us! From where Taylor and Tiffany sat together on their tree root, they saw the baby tapers wink at each other and then veer to the left. They ran right past Emberly, right past Snugger, and right toward the river bank. No, wait, Wisp cried. Not that way, little taper. No! But it was too late. Both baby tapers plunged into the river, and Wisp was carried right along with them, under the surface of the water. But not Floon. Flapping his ears, Floon flew above the river, safe and dry. Wisp came to the surface, sputtering, with water dripping down from his top knot of bright yellow hair. 